The Hillrom ICU proning accessory was designed with a focus on patient comfort and caregiver ease of use. This tutorial will demonstrate proper installation and recommended use on a Hillrom Progressive smart bed frame. Be sure to reference your facility's protocols for patient handling and proning prior to application of the accessory. Proning patients with pulmonary complications is shown to increase oxygenation and reduce mortality. However, the practice of proning on the hospital bed has its challenges. These can include caregiver visibility or access to the mouth and eyes, repositioning and offloading pressure on the head, stable head and spine support, and patient comfort, especially when proning for an extended period of time. The proning accessory assists in overcoming these challenges with three components that can be easily installed onto the Hillrom Progressive Smart Bed by two caregivers. These components are the head adapter bracket, the prone positioner assembly, and the foam face cushion. Prior to installation, ensure that the brake is set, the bed is in the flat position, and at an ergonomic working position prior to handling the patient. At the caregiver controls, lock out the head and knee articulation functions. Lower the transport handles and IV pole if applicable. If present, remove the plastic inserts from the traction equipment sockets on the head end of the bed frame. Remove the headboard. To install, fully lower the posts of the head adapter bracket into the traction equipment sockets. Once secured, attach the prone head positioner onto the head adapter bracket. Firmly push down on the slide clamp latches to lock the positioner into place. Pull outward on the slide clamps to ensure that they are latched. Next, place the face cushion onto the head positioner. Make sure the lateral slide is locked. Adjust the height of the head support so that the top of the face cushion is even with the top of the mattress. Finally, Lock the ball joint in place by turning the handle clockwise, and then remove the handle. The accessory is now attached to your bed frame and ready for use. Be sure to follow your facility's protocols for patient handling, proning, and CPR if necessary. For information on proning techniques, visit hillrom.com slash proning videos. There you'll find educational videos on how to safely manually prone or prone patients using safe patient handling equipment. If manually proning your patient, you'll need to pull the patient towards the head end of the bed. Once your patient is comfortably placed in the accessory, you can make additional adjustments as needed for maximum patient comfort and caregiver access. If your patient is intubated, guide the tubes into the face cushion and head support opening during patient adjustment. First, rotate the mirror to gain visibility to the patient's face. Then, position the patient's face by unlocking the slide clamps. Press down on the white clamp locks to release, and then move the head support on the frame. Make sure the patient's eyes are free from any contact and the face is supported. When set, lock the slide clamps. Next, adjust the lateral shift by unlocking the lever. Support the patient's head and adjust to the left or right as needed. Lock the lateral slide. Using two caregivers, adjust the patient's neck to the neutral position. One caregiver must support the patient's head while the second releases the ball joint. Position the patient's neck as necessary. Finally, lock the ball joint. Whenever making adjustments, Ensure intubation tubes are routed through the opening in the face cushion and head support. Endotracheal tubes should also be unconstrained and easy to access. If applicable, move the mirror for suctioning. During CPR, be sure to follow your hospital's policy and protocols. While it is recommended to avoid bed articulation when a patient is using the proning accessory, the accessory has been tested to use reverse Trendelenburg at a limited angle of 10 degrees. Activation of the manual lockout functions is recommended. Once your patient has been placed back in the supine position, 
the accessory can be disconnected as one unit by pulling up on the bracket or removed by component. For this option, press down on the white clamp locks to release the slide clamps. Ensure both latches have been released and lift up to remove the head positioner. Remove the bracket and replace all parts or accessories previously removed during installation. It is recommended that you read the full instructions for use of the ICU proning accessory. For more information, visit hillrom.com proning videos or contact your local Hillrom representative. <laughs>